We have an extraordinary radiation oncology department at Stony Brook Medicine that I'm proud to be a part of. Our department is multifaceted. We have renowned experts in radiation oncology, radiobiology, and radiation physics, as well as state-of-the-art technology. Our nursing and support staff are phenomenal, but I think the best part, what I look forward to every day, is the partnership and camaraderie between the faculty members, the residents, and all the other key members of the department, such as the nurses, therapists, the physicists, and dosimetrists. Over the past few years, I've had the privilege of serving as the director of the Radiation Oncology Residency Program, and it continues to be one of the most fulfilling roles of my career. While we deliver the best possible patient-centered cancer care every day, we also provide a rigorous and stimulating training experience for our students and our residents. My primary goal as director is to become an advocate for the residents and serve as a resource for them. Our residents gain a comprehensive education and the skills they'll need to treat both common and rare oncological conditions. And they also become innovators in clinical, translational, and laboratory-based research. And most important, they provide quality, compassionate care for our patients. So when you join us, you become part of the Stony Brook Radiation Oncology family. We're a relatively small department within the framework of a large academic institution, which means we get the best of both worlds. Everyone on staff is really friendly and supportive, which creates a family-like atmosphere for us. Point the camera in. We get lots of individualized attention from our mentors, but there are also many opportunities for interdisciplinary clinical and research collaboration. All of these pieces together create a dynamic learning environment for us. So I'm gonna hand it off to him. Back here, everything looks okay. Our clinical volume and diverse population provide the residents with invaluable experience in all the disease sites for both adults and pediatric populations. I run a head and neck cancer multidisciplinary clinic and our residents are deeply involved in this clinic. This type of collaboration opens more opportunities for clinical trials. Collaboration with other specialties is superb. I also lead a spine tumor board with orthopedics. We're fortunate to have Dr. Samuel Ryu as the chair of the department. Dr. Ryu is one of the world's leading experts and pioneers for stereotactic radio surgery. Under his leadership, we have become a high volume center for SRS and SBRT. We also have investigator-initiated clinical trials, exploring novel uses of these technologies for a wide variety of different clinical scenarios. Brachytherapy is another area of excellence for us. I am happy to say that our volume, quality, and outcomes are truly something we can be proud of. The range of brachytherapy applications that we have is impressive too. HDR prostate brachytherapy is ultrasound guided with real-time planning. There we go, good. All right, kind of adjust it so that the procedure is performed in our department under anesthesia. We have an active GYN brachytherapy program too. Here, here. We also offer here. HDR dermal here. brachytherapy for skin cancer, I-131 therapy for thyroid cancer, cesium-131 for brain tumors, radium-223 and samarium-153 for bone metastases, and Y90 for liver malignancies. The residents are actively involved in the entire brachytherapy program and have plenty of hands-on experience as part of their training. They also learn other procedures such as fiducial marker seed placement and space or injection prior to external beam prostate cancer treatment. These are imperative skills that will serve them well after they graduate from our program. Stony Brook's robust research program provides a perfect learning environment for our residents. Our department's research portfolio runs the gamut from radiomics and bioinformatics to cancer immunology and mitigation of normal tissue toxicity of radiation. In addition to an active basic science laboratory, we also have a number of investigator-initiated clinical trials in the department. The aim of these is to make the research truly translational, incorporating what we discover in the lab into clinical practice. Also, our patients have access to a host of cooperative group trials in which we and our colleagues in medical and surgical oncology participate in across all disease sites. I'm thrilled to be a part of a world-class team and cancer research facility. From the first year of residency, we get involved in the research, which can either be a basic science project or a clinical study or both. The goal is to have multiple first author manuscripts during the course of our training and to present our results at national and international meetings. We also have a monthly departmental research grant runs, which we all participate in. This is a great forum for troubleshooting the research, getting feedback from our colleagues, and exchanging ideas on how to move forward. 
So actually, I have a question here, mm -hmm. right? In addition to the Radiation Oncology Residency Program, we have a Physics Residency Program and a Graduate Physics Program. And our dosimetry training program is one of the largest and most established in the country. Over the past few years, uh, Dr. Ryu and I have co-directed a laboratory of radioimmunology and neuroinflammation in conjunction with the Department of Pharmacology. And this is where the residents who are interested in bench research can work during their research block, which can be anywhere from three months to a full year, depending on the nature of the project. And there are also a number of other laboratories within the institution which we collaborate with and which our residents can work with as well. One of the best parts of the Radiation Oncology Residency Program is the collaboration between all of the training programs. It really makes Stony Brook an educational powerhouse. We have an incredibly exciting training program here. Our goal is to provide our residents with structured cognitive and practical clinical education that enables them to be competent, proficient, and professional oncologists. Our residents are exposed to the full spectrum of clinical care and research through collaborative experiences with our cancer experts in multidisciplinary clinics and cancer-center-driven research initiatives. Our graduates are well prepared to practice and become leaders in radiation oncology. And then treat them supine and prone each day. So from day one, I was able to be involved right away with uh, direct patient care, research opportunities with physics and dissymmetry, as well as procedures with our brachytherapy team, really made me feel like an equal. And so I know I'm getting the best education here at Stony Brook to become a well-rounded radiation oncologist. High pole fractionation. Thank you for your interest in Stony Brook's radiation oncology training program. We are committed to providing the best education and training for clinical skills and research endeavors. In addition, our entire team is dedicated to the well-being and success of our residents and medical students. I look forward to welcoming you to our radiation oncology family. I will help you develop your career goals here at Stony Brook Medicine.